Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty Break. Today we are going to try out a hair dryer. But it's not just any old hair dryer. It is a $500 hair dryer. Yes, those actually exist apparently. I am so confused. Honestly, I've seen this thing and it looks like a robot. Or like a leaf blower of some kind. I don't really know. It's huge. Let's try it. This is very, very, very... I didn't know that it was this involved. This is a blow dryer? Full disclosure, we're going to do half of Jocelyn's head drying it with this piece of machinery. And then the other half, we're gonna use our janky old hair dryer that was probably $20. Um, excuse me, it's not janky, it's really nice. It's a Conair and it does its job, okay? Seriously, what the heck is this? <laughs> Great question. Why does this look what? so phallic? <laughs> There's papers in there. Oh, this is really this heavy. Is heavy. Lil, they wrote us a note, I'm gonna read it to you. Perfect. Does it suck drying your hair? Okay, now it, it does, and it's a game changer. Rev Air reinvented the way you dry and straighten with the world's first and only reverse air dryer. This thing better be magical considering it costs like a lot of money. As they you can tell from the note, we did not buy it, but we are giving an honest review. I hope it's really cool. <laughs> Who has space for this? What kind of mansion do you need to live in? <laughs> this is insane. Um, this is, oh, it's just like a holder. It's very heavy. Interesting. But I guess it has to be heavy because otherwise this would fall off because all this is so heavy. Oh, is that the filter? I think it's a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first things first. I'm the realist. You insert the filter into the base unit, which is this thing. Yep, there you go. Okay. And then on top of that, you attach the hose to the base unit. There we go. Cool. We're secure. Then the wand, which is this thing. Well, it looks like ours is already attached. Good job. Let's just turn it on and see if it even turns on, I guess. So it seems like that's, all, that's it. I mean, it's set up. I'm gonna put this here for you. Why is there two on buttons though, if that doesn't even? There's two on switches apparently that are required. So section your hair settings, there's a slow and low. Oh, we have to get your hair wet. Oh, duh. Hold please. You're in Lily's salon now. <laughs> Yay. Remember all the times you've done my hair? Yeah, I've done such a good job. How old is this water? Where'd it does you get smell this? a little weird. Smells like it's from inside the toilet. It smells like a little like an old towel. It is from our so I'd say this is very moist, very damp. Um, should we set a timer? Wait, how do I use? Well, it, it says okay. So for each different t hair type, I would say my hair is wavy. So every section you do for forty-five seconds. How big is each section? So you three by three inch. So That's we'll like separate it. I guess you're supposed to go all the way down to the skull. <laughs> it's like it's gonna all be in there. I don't feel like we really need to separate it. Okay. Yeah, is there like a picture though of the hair going in? Nope. Like th that would be helpful. Like I There's just, videos. I just put it in there? Just put it in the hole. I guess you just put it in the hole. So you just like put it in? I guess. Cool. It's cool air. Oh, now it's warm. So easy, you can do it at home. Is it dry? Oh. No, not even a little bit. Well. What are we doing wrong? Yeah, it's weird. It's like very cool air. It's supposed to be hot. It's not hot. It's not hot at all. I mean, I think it's kind and of dry. It's like at the end of your. Oh. Are we not doing this right? Okay, it's hot now. It is? Okay. Hair should not be left in the lawn for more than 120 seconds. I think by now, if I was using my normal blow dryer, it probably wouldn't go That's there. nice. So it seems like it started working. Yeah, let's do another yeah, piece. Yeah, do another piece. Does it feel hot? No. It feels hot up here. So if like, you had really long hair, would it be like all the all way in here? I bet. Oh, you probably have to just do it a few more times, right? I feel, and it, it leaves it nice that it's like, it's blow dried. Like it's like, as if you did it with a brush. Your other arms, you don't have to get exhausted from holding. No, How just, just from though? setting it up. My only complaint with this is that this cord, like it doesn't, it, like it doesn't go the right way. That I feel like it would knock 
pop over and just like be like. Let me like, try, try this piece. I feel like this is a, a good front piece. This is like a good amount of hair. Put it in the pot. Does this not look like a dildo? I mean, you guys, like it's a very large dildo, but. thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh wow, look at that before and after. It's like almost dry. Okay, I mean, I think it depends on the, ooh, but it left your hair so soft. Really? I wanna see what it looks like. But I will say, it is kind it of messy at the end. It does get a little tangly at the end. I think this would be really good for someone who needs like a professional blowout. Exactly. Like I, curly hair when I'm just curling my hair, I literally, or, or curling it, when I'm just drying my hair, I just like flip my head over and dry it really fast yeah. and then I'll style it after. This is like styling it and blow drying it at the same time. Like someone like the woman in that photo, if you have curls that you wanted to straighten, and it really, I I believe that it does that. And I don't think it's damaging the hair. I really don't. I mean, I guess I don't think it gets that tell, hot in there. We should open up and look at the filter. See what it looks like. Is there anything in there? Yeah, you're oh. Hair. <laughs> and this is what you're supposed to For clean. Your shadow box. <laughs> oh, weird. And there is like some little particles, like kind of you can see at the bottom. My hair's not clean, so that's probably why it's like product. Here's the thing though. Hmm. Do we think this is faster than a blow dryer? I guess let's use the blow dryer for 45 seconds and see. Does this have a warranty? I wonder, I bet it does. Yeah, I want to call them. I'm <laughs> curious about a few things. Hello, you've reached Rev Air. Okay. Who invented hold music? Who thought that was a good Someone idea? Someone who's super rich now probably. No, but it's so stupid. There's never good enough service that it actually sounds like good. It's just like this staticky, horrible version of whatever song you're listening to. And then it's usually not good music. I they had to have done psychological testing to see like what music is least likely to make the biggest amount of people not go crazy. We're not in that And career. then they went with the opposite? So we're actually making a YouTube video right now with the Rev Air, um, and we have never used it before. And I have kind of a random question because I'm so curious about this. Do you know who invented this? Our CEO invented it. Oh, cool. Um, he was actually making a ponytail holder for a friend, a single dad who has some disease because it was real hard for him to make ponytails and he just couldn't get it. Scott Thomason, who's our CEO and our head engineer, he then found out that his 11-year-old daughter got a hold of it and uh, started started playing with it and said, Dad, my hair is so silky smooth. So using a um, shop vac, that is not, there's there's completely, it's all about the wand. The huh. shape of the wand and the way that the hair falls in place. Yeah, it's a very uh, unique, it it's, a, it's a very unique shape. <laughs> I mean. It is. Wow. It is. Kim's my new best friend. Okay, Kim's I, crystal I, girls, I, come by. Just for Kim's customer service alone, I'm going to give this product five stars. But also, that was the most productive customer service call you've ever had. No, I've called on this show like a hundred people. Given you're usually service. asking questions that they don't have the answers to and are really stupid, but, but like she, had she all was the very answers. helpful. So basically, she said that this was invented because of like they were using the vacuum. The shop back. And the one thing I will say that she pointed out that's the reason that I love this. Because it pulls the it cuticle thing. Oh. Because when I'm blow, <laughs> well, yeah, but that's why. Because when you're blow drying your own hair, like, and my hair's not straight, so it just, the cuticles get, that's how you get frizziness. Well, and just like it'll go different ways, but this is pulling it completely taut. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. If only you could help me blow dry my hair every day. You're always supposed to go with the cuticle. I didn't know that hair, like, it's the, like, the, the base of it is called a cuticle. Like, no, the cuticle is like, in the hairs, it has like hairs have like little like pores. I think I'm you just I'm it. confused because I just think of nail cuticles. This is really cool. I it's just really large. I just don't have a bathroom big enough to house this kind of machinery. I wonder if they would ever do like a travel option or something. That would be awesome, but I think it would just you wouldn't be able to get the power you need. But in general, Rev Air, we like what you're working with. It this. works really well, and your hair is so much softer here than it is here. For sure, this is more crunchy. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want me to put one piece of your hair in it just so you can see what it feels like? I would actually like that. Okay. Feels good, huh? Oh, that's. Ooh, you like it? it? And it doesn't feel like it's gonna like burn your hair. Oh my gosh, it totally straightened this piece. It was probably already straight. Cool. Um, guys, let us know in the comments.
comments below if there's any other really cool hair dryers we should try out. Like the Dyson one. I've totally tried it, but I just want an excuse for us to buy it. Clever. We'll have to really foot great. that bill. Um, and also, let us know what you guys thought of this guy. Would you buy it? Would you spend 500 bucks? Because I think it's honestly pretty cool if you have space. Agree. Well, thank you for watching. And subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications. Drop them here. Stuck in your face. guys um don't know if you've heard but there's another new video right over here that you have to click on because it's absolutely fantastic nearly as fantastic as lily looks we're beauty gurus have you guys clicked yet also subscribe please clickety click click